Hey sassy heads, welcome back to my channel, The Sassy Club. Sandra here if you're new. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure and hit that button so you don't miss any of my videos. I thought I'd do something a little bit different and plan in my Erin Condren. You guys know I'm more of a disc girl, but I thought for funsies I would try doing a plan with me inside of my Erin Condren. I am using one of my new stamps called I Pine For You and it's super cute and you can add a face to a pineapple, so what's not to love? And then this glitter stack that I picked up randomly at Joann's. So I thought for fun I would try planning in here I'm definitely not switching over so don't be scared if you're <laughs> a mamby girl because I definitely love my discs and that's more of my that's more of my style I decided to try a different sort of style of planning by planning in my Erin Condren because I did feel like I had to modify my normal way of planning to make it work for my Erin Condren so hopefully you guys will still like it there I was just die cutting a bunch of these little paper pieces out using my die that I designed for the Erin Condren um, it was originally made for the Erin Condren that has the header not this new neutral that they came out with that has no header but you could still definitely use it as you see I am everything is the same as far as dimensions the only thing that that is slightly different and you will see this on video is that since it has no header there's obviously going to be a gap where the header used to be but if you add a header then basically it pretty much lines up but obviously if you don't use a header then it wouldn't line up but I definitely in general don't use the boxes like traditional three separate boxes so that really didn't bother me but just something to keep in mind if you decide to get one of these that um, you'd have to have a header every time you use it unless you use them the way that I'm using it so just something to keep in mind and just really fun I thought it would be cool to do something different I cut out a bunch of cardstock that I had from Michaels and I had a bunch of single sheets of scrapbook paper and different things lying around plus my new Reuben washi tape that has rose gold accents which I thought was adorable that is also available in my shop, thesassyclub.com. I will have links in the description box below for you guys. And then I stamped out a bunch of images from the Sassy Mail stamp set. Um, I did this off camera because I either forgot or I thought it was taking up too much time because this video is already kind of long. Um, and then I just went ahead and colored them in with my Copic markers. And I just thought it would be fun to add a bunch of these throughout the layout because as you guys know, I generally mail a lot of things during the week. So I figured why not just have these ready to go so that I can just put them where I want. Generally, you would want to prep for your layouts and have a bunch of things stamped out ahead of time and colored if you kind of know the kind of layout style or color that you're going to go with rather than wasting time doing it um, kind of the same day. But it's not like you can't do it that way, just an option to save you time. So I'm going ahead and using some brown to color in this little box. I'm keeping most of this pretty simple, but since this is something I do all the time, I figured I might as well add some little images. And I really love that Sassy Mail set. I really try to use it as often as I can because I do mail quite a few things out. And then I'm just going ahead and fussy cutting it. This is something else you can do. If you have a Cameo, you can use a pick scan mat or you can buy the die that coordinates with this that will cut out all the images, leaving a very small white border along all of them. Them. I could have done this but at the time I just felt like cutting it by hand so that's what I did <laughs> I decided to use this pen I had never used before because this is what I do apparently in videos I try pens that I've never tried before on paper and then realize that they go through this is the moment where I see that it bled through and I was like she wasn't ready <laughs> I was so mad at myself for trying out that pen for the first time on this. I forgot that I'm using an Erin Condren and the paper isn't quite as thick, so you can't just use whatever you want willy-nilly. That's something to keep in mind when you're using this planner, that you want to make sure that you test out on the notes pages the pens. That way you know what you can use on it because a lot of things will bleed through. Even though the paper's supposed to be thicker this year, still not quite thick enough in my opinion, but that's just me <laughs> being real. But I still like the notebook itself, so... I did go ahead and add some white out so that you couldn't see those dots behind the washi. But to be honest with you, it really doesn't bother me that much. I've just seen a lot of people use white out in their planners. And so I figured I would try it out and see how I like it. But I'm not really a stickler for that kind of stuff that much anyway. I also had these label stickers that I picked up from Michaels as well and I figured I would add one into this layout. I'm fully not using any kits for this layout in case that's not already painfully obvious. I'm pretty much just using what I have from local stores as far as stickers and then obviously my stamps and then things that I had in my stash pretty much and it makes it a lot easier to coordinate all of these things when you have 
just scrapbook paper and then the die to kind of just cut things out and then also obviously I can match my stamps because I can color them myself so I can kind of make them coordinate with my layout which is really cool. With this little coffee cup I really didn't need to do much to him because he's just so cute on his own. I just added some little cute cheeks and then I ran him through my little Exron sticker maker that makes it adhesive all over and he was good to go basically. I need like 50 more of these because I drink coffee every day. <laughs> but yeah that's why I say it's beneficial to stamp things ahead of time in general. And then I'm just adding more washi. Um, I realize that adding a lot of washi to your layouts um, is kind of annoying. I generally do add washi to my layouts but I don't add as much as I did for this layout and looking back at it maybe I would have added a little bit of less. I like the way that it looks so don't get me wrong I like the look of it but just lining everything up to make sure that it's straight and that it cuts cleanly was kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, if I find an easier way to make those things happen I will let you guys know in a separate video. Um, I had another one of these extra headers that I had cut out and I decided to use it as a ba banner and cover that little box or banner on the sticker itself that said thoughts so I can even more customize the sticker kind of to match with the look that I'm going for and it makes it really easy when you use a little sticker maker because it just makes everything adhesive um, and I think they even sell removable adhesive so if you're someone who likes to move things around a lot that could be an option for you. I will say that you want to be careful with this paper as well for taking stickers off and on because you do get some rippage. Um, and that's not something that I'm necessarily used to with the other planners that I've used. I can usually pull things up quite easily. It didn't rip every time, so don't get me wrong. It just kind of ripped some of the times and I was like, uh, okay, I guess I am covering this. Um, I'm using that pen again because it is a permanent pen and on top of stickers, it works great, but you don't want to necessarily use this pen directly on the paper. And that's something that again, I'm not used to because as you guys know, if you watch my other happy planner videos, um, the pen that I use is quite black and quite permanent as well but it doesn't seem to bleed through it leaves very minimal shadowing so that's part of the reason I didn't end up using it on this page because I figured it probably would go through since that pen did so just something to keep in mind then I decided to use the little bow um, stamp that is from my happy box set and I'll try to remember to link all the stamps that I use um, all the names of them in the description box below but I decided to create kind of like my own little checklist as you guys know even inside my happy planner I'm definitely more of a white space girl I like to leave space um, in between my boxes I don't feel the need to cover everything generally and in fact in this Erin Condren layout I feel like I covered things a lot more than I generally do in my other types of videos so that's why I said this was kind of a little bit different to my normal style I used a lot more washi and kind of you know covered things up more but I think that I did that more because in the Erin Condren I feel like I was kind of getting the hang of planning an Erin Condren versus a happy planner which you can kind of do more mixed media in as well as being able to remove the pages allows you to do more stamping so those are the benefits to me of having a disc planner so I kind of missed that while I was doing this but I still really enjoyed doing this because it's fun to try different ways of planning that's why you guys see me make videos about different ways of planning because I love trying out new things just to see what I'm gonna like. I had this plain washi that I had in my stack for like the longest time and it kind of ended up working out for this layout because it was that same sort of blush pink that kind of matched with the rest of the pink that I had going on in the layouts. So I thought I would layer this box and then add another one of those boxes that I die cut but instead I figured I would use like kind of like a little more than half the box to cover that area and create kind of like a custom sticker. That little flamingo ice cream cone is from the I Pine You stamp set. I stamped it off on paper and colored it ahead of time and then I'm just writing down some of the things I have going on for that day and I'm just using a regular pen just because I was paranoid after using that one pen um, but you will see me switch between different pens while I'm doing this layout just because I again I was kind of getting the feel for it I'm not someone who normally plans inside an Erin Condren like and by plans I mean kind of like pretty plans I usually just write things so this was like my first time giving it a go kind of in a way. <laughs> uh, so I decided to add another little piece there of paper just because I had that little extra piece I had cut down and then I made another little glitter banner um, out of that same paper that I picked up. So I really like that glitter paper because it doesn't shed at all which is, if you guys know me you know that's a huge pet peeve of mine. I hate it when glitter gets everywhere so I really loved this paper stack for that reason. And then I had that planner icon stamp set which ended up working out perfectly for the things I had going on for that day because they're really tiny and they 
they fit perfectly in the boxes enough so that I also still have room to just write things next to them. So that's pretty cool. And um, there's definitely different things you can do with that stamp set if you've seen me use it before. But that was just one of the ways that I decided to use it here. And the unicorn pink that I have in my shop actually matched really well with that label sticker that I added. So that's why I decided to go and use kind of like that more, you know. I don't know, in your face pink rather than the blush pink and do kind of a mix of both. And I'm kind of obsessed with pink, so d using different shades is totally cool with me. <laughs> um, I had this sticker from an old Mambi sticker book, or I don't know if it's a new Mambi sticker book, who knows? I've had it for a while and for the longest time I never used any of those stickers. So I decided this year I wanted to kind of use them up more, um, <laughs> maybe buy less of them and use what I have in my stash more a little bit. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. And then I decided to add some of the washi again from my shop that has like the different bows of the gold foiling because they all kind of match each other so it makes it kind of easy. I stuck with more of the uh, pink uh, slash mint one for this layout because you guys know I'm obsessed with those colors and they go really well together in my defense so any excuse to use those and I will. And then I added a little letter because she's just so cute. And I mean, I'm always literally dropping off mail and different things usually every day. So I figured why not make it cute, right? And then for that bottom box, I knew that I wanted to add some more of that scrapbook paper, kind of keep the whole cohesion of the page going or whatever I think is cohesive really. <laughs> And then the pineapple from that set, I stamped that out ahead of time, colored it in, and then I knew I wanted to add a face. I was just trying to decide which face to add because it has like four different faces you can choose from, but I went with the more simple one and I just think it looks adorable. So I figured I would add that there and I love that you can kind of customize the pineapple to look however you want with the different faces or by adding glasses. So really love that and I just colored those um, colored that in with Copics and again I'm just writing with the same pen just because I know it won't bleed through so I figured you know what let's keep it simple let's not mess up another page <laughs> no and honestly I didn't actually mess up that page because later on you're not gonna see this on camera but um, I did decorate that page on the other side and I was able to kind of cover that up it didn't really bother me too much so YOLO and then I just marked a day that I was gonna meet up with my girl Robin to have some coffee because all my friends love coffee as much as I do. <laughs> I actually think she got a tea that day but whatever you know we can pretend. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm just adding the rest of the headers to this layout. I figured I would just save myself time by adding these. You do not need to do headers on every day that are like um, every other like I did. I just thought for fun I would do this because I generally see people do this with sticker kits and so I thought it would be fun to just create my own versions and I also feel like it gives it kind of like a cohesive look so why not. Then I wanted to use the stamp from Plancation. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I designed this set specifically for that event. And I will have this on sale July 15th, so it's not available quite yet. But I thought this would be perfect, a little unicorn holding a suitcase, wearing pineapple sunglasses for this layout because since I'm going for like a tropical sort of like girly vibe in this layout, I thought it would be fun to add this. So I just colored it in with Copic markers as you guys saw, and then I just cut it out. And it was really simple and easy to do. Do so I then went ahead and grabbed another one of those Michaels labels that basically just match with the other one I added so I figured I would add another one because I wanted to keep it all kind of looking cohesive whenever you don't use some sort of kit to do this sort of planning um, or when you're kind of doing more abstract or freestyle planning as I like to call it you want to try to keep things sort of going within the same color ranges so that everything kind of looks like it goes together um, well, obviously when you get a kit it feels like it's kind of all the work is done for you in a way so which is nice but I also like doing things on my own because I feel like it looks really original when you don't necessarily have a full kit and you can kind of freestyle your way through it and kind of add what you like and kind of customize it even more so I had a lot of fun doing this I decided to stamp on one of the boxes and use one of the flamingos from that I pine you set and you know it's funny because I didn't take into consideration that this was not a disc planner so I had a little hard of a time stamping um, closer to the coil that's one of the things that I do find annoying about um, coil planners but I was able to kind of work around it and still make it look nice as you guys can see so it's just a matter of kind of getting used to it and knowing you know 
how to position your stamp towards the edge of the block in certain areas so that you make sure that there's enough room. So that's kind of what I did, but it's something that I definitely had to get used to. I kind of had like a, okay, let me see how I do this moment. <laughs> um, and then that's when I kept filming. So just a heads up on that. And then I'm just adding more of that kind of like doily looking light blue washi that kind of matches pretty well with the rest of this theme that I have going on here. And then I'm running that again through my little tiny Extron machine just because that thing's a lifesaver. Between this week and last week, I think I used all the adhesive in there, so I need to get myself a refill. And then I'm using my Faber Castell pen, and as you guys know, it wouldn't be one of my layouts if I didn't do some script writing. Um, I was kind of playing around with the idea of using script writing in this because I wasn't sure how well the pen would hold up to it, but it actually held up really well, so I was really happy about that. And as you can tell, this is a newer pen because you can see my little Hobby Lobby sticker on it. Um, but I really love that pen. Um, I have a bunch of other colors that you guys have seen before if you watched my favorite pens video, so it's just a pen that I really enjoy using for scripting but I have several pens that I really like and when I find a brand new cool pen to use I love just pulling that out and trying it out so you get very minimal shadowing with that pen on the Erin Condren and then I also pulled out this little planner sticker um, it's just a <laughs> it's not an actual sticker obviously I stamped it and then turned it into a sticker and colored it in but yeah that's what happens when you rewatch this after you filmed it a little bit ago and then I also added that banana sticker above that that you guys didn't really see me talk about too much but it's just like a random banana sticker I figured it would just give it a pop of yellow and since we did have to pick up snacks for the road trip um, why not add a banana there <laughs> um, I did more layering of the washi I did some pink and and I kind of was trying to figure out um, if I wanted that one sticker that you just saw there, but I realized that I wanted to basically overlap with that paper before adding that sticker. So I wanted to kind of build on that um, in that area before I added that one sticker because if not it would have overlapped on top of the header so I kind of fiddled with it but I didn't necessarily leave all that in because I didn't want this video to be too long but I did kind of fiddle with it to figure out what I wanted so and then I'm just cutting that with the scissor just because sometimes if you go to tear with one of the cards the little gift card things it doesn't always work great when there's gold foiling on washi tape because it tends to be a little bit um more resistant to it in that area i found that with many washi tapes so just something to keep in mind and then i'm using again that same pen that is permanent on the sticker because you know as long as you're using it on, on a sticker you don't have to worry it's just when you use it straight on and then i decided to create a little glitter banner from that same paper and just have it match together and i love creating random little fishtail banners it's really simple and fun to do and then I'm going to go ahead and run it again through my little machine and make it sticky. So and make sure that whenever you're running through a little machine like that, you want to make sure you throw away that extra packaging right away because that little clear part is always kind of sticky. So you don't want it sticking to something and ripping something. So just keep that in mind because that's actually happened to me before. So that's why I'm telling you that. Um, didn't happen to me this time, but it happened to me a couple Plan With Me videos ago. And that was, I think, when I was doing it in my uh, Mambi planner. So I went ahead and stamped that little car and the little speech bubble from my um, planet stamp set I believe it's called I again I'll have a list of everything um, once this video is up on YouTube and then I randomly made like a little road because I thought that would look cute for marking that that's mostly the day we're gonna do most of our driving on so I thought that would look adorable and then I just stuck the car up above it and I just thought that little speech bubble would look cute next to the planner just because it's kind of adorable and I felt like that little space needed something so I just stamped that out there sometimes I'll add things randomly after the fact just to balance out my layout whatever that means to you is might be different to me so I'm adding some more washi just because this washi looks so good on this layout and then I colored in those two little unicorns that you see one's taking a selfie the other one's holding a planner how freaking adorable is that I colored them in with Copics and then I just ran them through my machine they were really easy to cut and they're again from that same plantation stamp set that I designed so I think they are super perfect for this layout I think a lot of the things on there are not just geared towards Arizona. A lot of the things are unicorns and things you can use every day. So that's something to keep in mind if you're wanting to get the stamp set. It definitely has lots of things you can use for different occasions, which I love. And then I'm just using some more of that blue washi on the little weekend area just because I thought that would look cute there. Plus, I've seen a few people 
um, do this and cover that little area when they're planning. So I thought it would just be fun to try something new out. I'm always trying different styles of planning. Um, I added that glitter paper just to cover that big area so I didn't have to like mask it with washi tape because I figured it'd be easier. And I'm using also the Balloon Alpha. Um, I'm gonna be spelling out Disney. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys probably saw me do this technique, but I get this question a lot. How do you create words together that looked like put together um, with stamping? So this is what the trick is. It's called a masking. So what I do is I stamp out a bunch of letters on masking paper or post-it note tape, which is what that was, and I cut them out. And then I go ahead and I stamp one letter at a time. And as you're gonna see, I'm gonna take that same mask that I cut out earlier and I'm gonna cover that letter. Now you wanna make sure when you're cutting these masks that you cut to the very edge and you don't leave any extra, even cut on the black a little bit. That way that when you pull off, as you can see there, it looks perfectly layered. And that's a really fun and cool technique that you can do when you know there's words that you use really often. And you can just stamp a bunch of them out at a time so that you have them ready to go. And the great thing too is you can generally keep this mask in the back of your stamp set so that you can reuse those letters. That way you don't have to remake the mask every single time that you want to do this. So that's going to save you a lot of time. But that technique is called masking and I figured I'd share that with you guys That's something that I learned in a stamping class many many years ago And it's something that I have used for many different things um, And if you guys have followed me for a while, you know that I love using fun little techniques like that to create more custom things and more one-of-a-kind stuff So something to keep in mind and if you guys do use this technique be sure and hashtag me on Instagram at at the Sassy Club. I love to see what you guys do using techniques that I show. I always think it's so cool and it's one of the things I love about YouTube is seeing people kind of use tips and tricks that I share. So that's just one that I really love. And I went ahead and colored those letters in with Copic markers. And now I'm just layering to figure out what I want to do on that area. I did decide to fully layer that in pink. And that big Disney head that you see, or Mickey head, I don't know why I called it a Disney head. <laughs> but um, I just literally saw the shape of a Disney um, thing online and basically I just used that um, as a reference to cut it and that's what I did and then I just added some of the scrapbook paper underneath so it kind of looks has a cool layered look to it and that's basically what I did for that so that was really simple and I just thought it would be fun to do that since basically I spent the whole weekend at Disney with my family so I thought it would be cool to just have that there with the letters and I really like the way that it looks I will end up adding something more to that area but that's something I added right after I actually came back from Disney and Excuse me for my nails in this video because honestly, um, it was kind of like last minute plans to do this. So I didn't really have time to plan anything out other than like obviously packing and getting ready to go. Um, but it was very spur of the moment. So, but I'm really happy I did it because I hadn't seen my sister in a while and I really missed her. So it was really cool to meet up with her and uh, her boyfriend Felix. So I'm happy that we did that. Um, I decided I wanted to add a sticker here and so I decided to kind of make a fishtail banner version of the sticker and then add it on top of there, the little circle one, and I decided I needed to lift up the unicorn because I didn't want to have that overlapping. There's a lot of things you realize after the fact, that's another benefit of having sticker paper that you can kind of pull up a little bit in case you need to remove things or just move them around a little bit. But I really like the way that looked. And then I just added, of course, you know, I have to mark Sandra Palooza, which starts on the 1st, if you guys know, July is my birthday month. So Sandra Palooza is on the way, is underway. <laughs> so I thought that would be fun. And then I just added a little circle sticker in yellow just to give it another pop of yellow. And then I remembered that I had the whole side area that I hadn't done anything to, which is not necessarily mandatory, but I thought it looked kind of empty. So I figured I would just add something there. So I was cutting down the little fishtail banner again, because that's like one of my go-to things that I love to do. And then I had another one of those circle stickers and I just cut a side of it so I could layer it on top of there. And then I d just decided to add a little yellow asterisk on that just again to give another pop of yellow and then since I had extra headers left over from this because I had cut out a bunch of them in case I wanted to use more um, I just decided to add that right underneath there and I'm gonna say this right now my banner or my layering there came out kind of wonky because um, the washi was not wanting to work with me like it just ended up coming out like not necessarily perfectly straight but it doesn't really bother me all that much to be honest with you I still thought it looked cute and generally when I work on things they don't always come out perfectly straight so it was kind of one of those moments where I was like YOLO I'm just gonna go with it I added that sticker there that I had cut the top off of and then I added this 
quote sticker that my friend from Joyful Planner gave me at Plankation. She had gifted me some stickers and so I thought I'd use that quote there just because I thought it was really nice. Um, it's a Bible verse and I figured it was a lot faster than scripting mine there at the moment, especially considering that I was having um, pen issues with this planner. So yeah, really love it. Thanks again, Jessica. <laughs> and uh, now I'm just adding more washi here and I just I'm layering to see what looks good to me but like I said it does come off like a little like not perfectly straight but you know if that bothers you look away now <laughs> so either way I just kind of went with it and then I was deciding if I wanted to add the little drink from that same I pine you stamp set I had went ahead and colored that in off camera and I was trying to decide where I wanted to add that and it did look actually cute in that little box but I did decide to add it actually to right next to where I have the little Disney head so you will see that in pictures um, right after I'm done this layout so sometimes I add things after the fact you guys know that pretty much if you've been watching me for a while but if you guys want to see sneak peeks of things that I create ahead of time be sure and follow me on Instagram on the Sassy Club Facebook group if you just want inspiration in general there's lots of talented sassy heads in there that post layouts during the week as well as just for fun because sometimes I do live videos in there and I show you sneak peeks of the stamps that I'm going to be designing um, before they come out so if you guys want to see more of me in general go ahead and follow me there I will have links to my Instagram and the Facebook group there and so you guys can check me out there but again you guys I hope you like this layout this was definitely something different if you've been watching me for a while but either way I hope you enjoyed and I will have a new layout in my happy planner coming soon to show you guys as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless and June June no July 15th I should have some new stamps coming out so be sure and watch out for that and sneak peeks on Instagram and thank you guys so much for watching as always for liking and subscribing to these videos you guys it means the world to me so thanks again and I will see you later bye if you're still here then why not hit that subscribe button and become part of the sassy club gang guys and thank you so much for watching again and be sure and check out the sassyclub.com for a lot of the products and stamps that were used in this video bye